For this project, you need five essential materials, your wrap, mitts, your blank, heat transfer tape, and a mug press. You can opt in to use an oven. However, for this tutorial, we're sticking with a press. We will cover everything you need in this video. Starting with the blanks, I prefer to get mine from PYD Life. They come in a pack of four. I do believe that you can buy them in higher quantities. However, I don't personally sell these, so this is going to be great for me. When they come in, you will see that they're packaged wonderfully, so you could actually send these out. Additionally, when you pull these out, you will see the black ring is plastic. So, of course, make sure that we remove that when we place this into the tumbler or we're going to have a big mess. The one downside to these blanks is they do not come with the rubber bottoms, but I'll give you some alternative options at the end of this video. The wraps are pretty unique, and you can actually find wraps on Etsy or on Creative Fabrica, but you can also take patterns and create your own like I did here. You just need to resize this, and I printed this off of Illustrator, but you could even do this inside of Microsoft Word. Make sure you are using high quality print settings and slowing down your print speed. Now, once your print is ready to come out, make sure it dries a little bit so nothing smears. And then I recommend removing any white paper around the edges. Not completely, but sometimes when you're using converted printers, if you are, it can leave a little bit of the black lines around the edges. And that will transfer onto your project and kind of be a headache later down the road. You will see on this project, one side is completely removed, which means there is no white piece. That is because this will be the side that connects and conjoins the project together. So of course we don't want that negative space. Do not laugh, this part's optional, so you don't have to run out and get a lint roller, but because these come out of the box, I like to make sure that nothing is stuck to these, including plastic or dust, and this is pretty much the quickest way that I've found. Once you have it cleaned off, and you can do that with rubbing alcohol, it's time to line everything up. This didn't translate well in the video, but I was trying to show you that when you lay this down, your wrap is going to be a little bit longer than your actual tumbler, and the sizing that I gave you will be the same. This is important to make sure that there is no white edging and that everything is fully covered. Additionally, the length is going to be the same way, just a little bit, so that you can fully secure this down and line everything up. This is something that I've kind of just learned over time, but I really like to secure these down. And at the tops and bottoms, I used to put a lot of effort into making sure they line up, but with projects and wraps like these, that's not super important as much as it is very important to make sure that both the top and bottoms have a little bit of that overlap. This is a pretty good tip. Do like a tack strip just so it's not going to fall apart and then truly smooth this out because with sublimation, you want as much pressure as possible and no air bubbles in between because it will leave some funky discoloration. So I go around and fully tighten this down and smooth it probably three or four passes before I fully tape everything down where I would like it to be. Then I double check both top and bottom are fully overlapped and do not have any negative space. One last thing, if you are using a tumbler press, make sure that you're closing off these ends. It's not a huge problem, but sometimes when you go to slide them in, this paper will fold back and cause some negative space again, which as you can see is pretty much a running theme. Make sure that everything is fully covered. Now it is time to head over to our press. And if you would like, you can actually be heating up your press while you're going through your application and prepping process for your blank. It's totally up to you, but for this instance, I just wanted to show you the entire process. Now, I do use the HTV Ront Tumbler Press, but it is going to be the same temperature and time setting for any press that you're going to use. I use 380 for 70 seconds. Now, you're thinking that doesn't do much, but you're going to do two passes at this, and that is because where it closes here will leave, of course, negative space. So we need to do one full turn and then press this twice. I'd also be a horrible friend if I did not mention that we need heat resistant gloves for these projects. Let me tell you a quick story. One time I grabbed a hold of these with my bare hands and basically thought I had like no fingerprints left. I just want you to avoid that entire scenario. So get some heat transfer mitts. You can get them on Amazon. And I think they actually came with this tumbler press. 
Now it's time to go for our second spin and please make sure that you are allowing them to press the entire time. I know it gets a little bit exciting and you're thinking, oh, who needs that last 20 seconds? I promise you, as soon as you begin to unwrap, you are going to realize why it is so important. So once this is pulled out, I do like to remove my wraps while they're still warm, but you can choose to do this while you're cold. I just find when you do it warm, it eliminates any ghosting, which we can talk about ghosting in an entirely different video because that deserves its own coverage. There is no rhyme or reason when you're removing your wrap. You can do whatever feels best for you. And I will say you can't reuse these. So just get in there and rip them apart because I know you're excited to see how this has turned out. I will say the quality of your blanks really does determine the quality of your projects. So I never recommend going with the cheapest blanks because at the end of the day, sublimation blanks do have a coating on the outside. And if they're super cheap, they probably don't have a great coating or a very thick coating. So remember at the beginning of the video when I said that these blanks did not come with the rubber bottoms? Well, that's okay because you can purchase a sleeve of rubber blanks. I think there's like 12 or 24, I don't know. But you can get these on Amazon and they're very inexpensive. I think I paid less than $10 for that entire sleeve and it's lasted me quite a while. You simply just turn your cup over and then place these on the bottom. They are sticky, so they're just really easy to put on. And you do wanna make sure that none of this plastic or I guess it's like cardstock paper sticks to the side of it because it's going to like mess up your project a little bit. So just go in there, work that off, fold that little piece over, act like it never happened and put it on the bottom. Now I will say for this process, I like to start from the center, getting all the air bubbles out and smooth it over. And then I will flip it over and make sure that it's completely centered and not lopsided. Cause you have to remember a drink is going into this. So if it is a little lopsided, I will remove it and then redo it once again. And if you're doing this while it's warm, it actually kind of heats up that adhesive. And once it cools down, it almost like suction cups it to it. So you really don't have to worry about washing it or it falling off or anything like that. Just to mention, these cannot go in the dishwasher like pretty much any other tumbler. But other than that, they are 100% durable. They turn out fabulous almost every single time. And to be honest with you, if you are looking for an item to sell, these do amazing during summer flea markets or vendor shows, especially if you're around a lake or any form of like tourist destination. I hope this tutorial helped you and really you could take all of this knowledge and apply it to even tumblers, although the wraps would be a different size. If you happen to have any additional questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you are trying these projects or if you already create them, make sure you snap a photo and share it in our communities tab. I'm looking forward to seeing it.